In April 2010, the Icelandic volcano that I can't pronounce, Eyjafjallajökull, erupted, impacting not only Iceland, but much of Western and Northern Europe too. The volcano is located in the southwest of Iceland. It is on the constructive plate boundary between the North American and Eurasian plates. Eyjafjallajökull erupted in April and May 2010, and was not declared officially over until October. The primary effects include over 1 billion cubic metres of tephra, which is ashfall, and over 100 million cubic metres of lava being ejected, and an ash cloud that was around 10 kilometres high. Secondary effects include glaciers melted, causing flooding up to 3,000 cubic metres per second, flowing through the river Markafliot, which I also can't pronounce. Crops were damaged by the ashfall. Over 50,000 Kenyan farmers were temporarily unemployed as their beans and peas could not be sold and the Kenyan Flower Council stated that 3,000 tonnes of flowers were destroyed. These effects show perfectly how the eruption affected a lot more than just Iceland. Part of the Route 1, which is Iceland's main road, was washed away. Immediate responses include flights were cancelled, which affected 10 million travellers and cost airline companies £200 million a day. Around 500 families were evacuated overnight. The Markafliot Bridge on Route 1 was removed to prevent it being destroyed. And the Icelandic Red Cross set up help centres for locals and stranded tourists, providing shelter and food. Long-term responses include the Markafliot Bridge on Route 1 was rebuilt and roads have been reconstructed. New hotels and visitor attractions have been built to make the most of volcano tourism. Ash was cleared from the farmland and dug up from the bottom of rivers to make them deeper. And finally, jewellery made from ash has been sold to tourists.